According to Awang Asman Pawi of University Malaya, it is in the best interest of Barisan National to contest the upcoming Johor elections without cooperating with parties outside the coalition. The analyst said the uncertainty of the other parties' chances in the polls made it a bad idea for BN to give up seats it could itself vie for. Even if they do win, it is unsure that they will remain in support of BN, he told FMT. PAS, for example, would still stick with Bersatu. This will be a loss for AMNO and will weaken its dominance in BN. Awang Azman said BN was confident of becoming a dominant force in Johor because it was the incumbent government with a reputation for stability. Moreover, the opposition is seen to be less cohesive, just like in the Sarawak and Malacca polls. This gives an advantage to BN in Johor. James Chin of the University of Tasmania said it was highly likely that BN would go into the state polls on its own. There's a large group of people in AMNO who are strongly against PAS, he said. So even if PAS were to be nice to AMNO, I doubt that AMNO will agree to work with it. He said there were no other alliances that BN could consider in its fight against Perikata National. Chin said a two-thirds majority was possible for BN in Johor because the state had always been an AMNO stronghold. The AMNO machinery in Johor is one of the best in Peninsular Malaysia. So if BN is united, I don't see a big problem, he said.